Hi everyone, welcome back to Bees and Fields Early Years Home Learning. Today we are learning phonics and it is really important to learn phonics because it helps us with our reading and our writing. So if you have your phoning maps out at home, oh sorry I must have pressed something there, um, you can go through the sounds with a sibling, an adult or by yourself. If you don't have these do not panic, Miss Johnson is going to show the flashcards up on the screen and just make sure that you say the sound out loud back at home. Let's get started. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oi. Okay, so Miss Johnson has linked the Tricky Word song um, down below on the school website. Um, these are the new Tricky Words this week. Um, so have a little look. You can sing along and practice writing some of them. So let's have a look what our phoning of the day is today. So have a little look. There's a picture to help you. You can find it on your phoning mats at home. What is our phoning of the day? It is er uh, in treasure and you're going to pretend that you're opening up treasure box of jewels or coins, whatever you um, can imagine that you'd find in a maybe a pirate's treasure chest. Okay, so it's er uh, in treasure and that's the action. So my phoneme is er, uh, what are my letter names? And today there are one, two, three letters that make one sound. So we call this a trigraph, okay? But it still has the same sound button underneath a dash to help us from uh, to help us remember that it's not o, o, e, it is u. E. So what are the letter names that we've got the three letter names today? So have a little think. The alphabet names. They are u r E. So my phoneme is U, uh, my name is U R E. And some words that contain our grapheme of the day are treasure, measure, adventure, and picture. So as you can see, our grapheme here is mostly at the end of a word. So what we're going to do now is have a practice writing that trigraph and we we'll, can have a go on a scrap piece of paper, you can make it out of pasta, you can make a, a little collage if you like, but we're going to have a go writing it with a pencil um, or in the air, preferably. So Miss Johnson's going to do it in the air, we're going to do the U, go down, up, and flick. And then the R, down, up, and flick. And the E, so we go around, down, flick and pop that dash underneath to remind us that it is a trigraph. Let's do it one more time, the U, down, up, 
down flick on the R, down up and flick and the E, around up and flick and pop that dash underneath for er uh, in treasure. So let's have a look. So today, oh my thing camera's a bit off. Um, it is name the pirate and the pirate has a nonsense name. Okay, so we've done a lot of nonsense words. They are nonsense. They're made up names for the pirates. So they need help with them. Um, they're asking you what their name is. So he says, what is my name? Me hearties. So let's have a look. Yeah, you can see that on the bottom. So we're going to have a go at segmenting and blending, reading their name. Okay. So let's have a little look. We've got our um, grapheme of the day at the end, at er. Uh, so we're going to segment and blend. Three, two, one. M, I, N, er. Mineur. Now we're going to do it a little bit faster. Get those robot arms ready. Three, two, one. M, I, N, er. Mineur. So his name is Mineur. Now I would like you to have a go. Cover it up. That doesn't really work on my screen. Um, but you could cover it up and have a go writing the name Mineur. So you could pause the video and not look at it and just remind yourself that his name's Mineur. Let's have a look at the next pirate name. So it says, what is my name, my hearties, again. So we've got a girl here and she's got her name up and she's asking what her name is. So again, we're going to use our robot arms to segment and blend to read the name. So let's have a look. Our grapheme of the day. Uh, let's have a go. Three, two, one. Sip, uh, sip, uh. Okay. So sip, uh. Let's have a go a little bit faster. Three, two, one. Sip, uh, sip, uh. Again, you could pause the video without looking at the um, screen and have a go at writing her name if you like or you could draw your own um, pirate and give them a funny name using our grapheme of the day if you want to get creative we've got another person to read again he wants to, um, you to read his name have a little look at the sounds got our grapheme of the day uh, get your robot arms ready three two one B -r -r -r. Brr. A bit faster. Three, two, one. Brr, uh, brr. Remember, don't try and make them into real words. They are nonsense names. Okay, made up pirate names. Again, you could have a go at writing his name or come up with your own. Like I say, that would be great seeing some of them on tapestry if you make your, up your own pirate and give them a silly name using our grapheme of the day. So, what we've got here is a question. I know it's a question because it has a question mark at the end. It is a yes or a no question. We're going to have a little go at reading it. So we're going to warm up our robe arms. You can pause the video and have a go by yourself or you can join in with Miss Johnson. Remember, you do not need to segment every single word and do not um, segment and blend tricky words. Let's have a look at this one. Three, two, one. K -a -n can. Tricky word, we've done this one lots and lots of times. You, well done, back to the beginning. Can you, three, two, one, g, et, get, back to the beginning. Can you get, now this word has our mm -hmm. grapheme of the day, er, uh, in, treasure, okay? So I'm also going to give you a little hint as well. This bit here, the e eh and the a are making a sound okay so let's have a go together three two one t -r -e, and this is making a sh t -r -e, sh -er. treasure we're going to do it one more time because it is a tricky word but we can have a go so that is a, making an e sound and the s instead is making a sh so three two one t -r -e, sh -er. treasure so back to the beginning of the sentence. Can you get treasure? Yes or no? Yeah, you can do if you want to. It depends what you see treasure as. You could find treasure in your garden if you wanted to. You could become a pirate and go and find treasure. Um, it is um, kind of a fictional thing that people go and find treasure. But 
treasure to someone is uh, like jewelry maybe and um, it's something that they believe is really worth um a lot to them so treasure is different for everyone i think what Miss Johnson would like you to have a go at now is writing a sentence using um, one of the words um, using our grapheme of the day. So I'm going to model um, the sentence, they open the treasure using the tricky word, they. If you want to come up with your own sentence, you're more than welcome to and try and use the tricky word, they, in your sentence. Or you could write the phrase, the treasure using that tricky word the instead so they open the treasure remember pause the video if you want to have a go by yourself it would be really great if you tried to do it independently and then check back your work afterwards so the tricky word they i'm going to remember my capital letter at the start of my sentence so i'm doing a capital t and then it's my h my e f and y u for they if you try and remember they, it's got, it's the, and then it's got a you at the end. So they open. Again, I'm going to use my phony mat if I am unsure, and I'm going to say the word and segment it. Open. Three, two, one. O, P, E, N. Open. Okay, so I know it's a O at the beginning, but actually it's just the lonely which is making the O sound. O, P, E, N, open. And I've remembered again my finger space between my words. They open the. Now again, I can give you a little clue with they, looks a little bit like um, the, if you take the Y off. So it's T, H, E. for the they open the and treasure now it's a bit tricky treasure i'm not going to lie to you but we're going to have a good go at it so let's think of the word treasure so it starts with a segment and blend three two one t, t, t. so we've got t. and the next sound in treasure t, r. and then t, r, e. and remember miss johnson said in um, the question here, that these two letters are making e, e together. So I know that the E and the A, sometimes when they are together, make an E sound. And can you remember that other letter? T, R, E, SH. So we really sometimes want to put this diagraph on, but it's not a diagraph, it's tricking you also. So what can you remember? Which letter is making the in treasure it so it's the lonely that's making the sh sound in treasure and the last sound in treasure t -r -e -sh -er -er, which is our grapheme of the day which is right at the bottom the u r e spelling so i'm going to do that one making sure that my letters are on the line and end in my sentence i will need a full stop not a big football not a big lollipop stick just a little full stop at the end so that everyone can see it so i put my finger spaces in between my words yes sentences can go on to another line and i would continue on this one if i was writing another one they do not need to go on a new line each time um, I remember finger spaces, capital letter, my full stop, and I'm going to read through it to make sure it makes sense. They open the treasure. Fab. And I can check as well on here because Miss Johnson has put the right spelling on it too, which is on the PowerPoint. So I hope you've enjoyed this phonics video today. It'll be great to see any um, pirates that you make with um, silly names or you can do a treasure chest with loads of coins with silly names on as well. It is up to you. But any work that you do with phonics, um, get an adult to take a picture and pop it on tapestry so the Beast and Field staff can like and comment on the amazing stuff that you are doing at home. And Miss Johnson will be seeing you very soon. Bye.